let's talk about the topics more generally a little bit you know a little bit more detail so motion part one and two distances vectors acceleration newton's laws gravity orbital and escape velocity friction and drag all right energy and momentum kinetic energy potential energy Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. Potential energy is stored energy. It can be in a battery. It can be in a spring. It can be in gravity, gravitational potential energy. Momentum, impulse, which is changes in momentum. Conservation of energy, conservation of momentum. Torque and statics, mechanical advantage. So we're going to look at levers and how they work and why they work and what's the math behind them. Rotational motion, angular momentum, pivot points. How do you think about equilibrium? and stress and strain under torques and statics, stress and strain are when you put pressure on a material, it will change shape, right? And so we're looking at how that, how you can think about that in terms of torques and statics. Fluids, they've got density, pressure, buoyancy, Pascal's principle, hydraulics, Archimedes principle, continuity, flux, and Bernoulli's equation, right? All of these we're gonna be talking about in, term, in context of fluids over Two weeks, some in the statics portion, some in the dynamics portion. Uh, thermo, thermal expansion, ideal gas law, heat flow, heat engines, and black body radiation. All right. Electricity, voltage sources, currents, resistors, power. I'll probably throw transformers in there. They'll be important for you. Household circuits and safety because everybody needs to know about household circuits and safety. Uh, I don't want you getting hurt at home over something stupid. And then electromagnetics. We can cover what the spe spectrum is, what the different pieces of it are, kind of energy concerns in that if, you're, if you ever get into big into energy weapons. Uh, commercial radar, Doppler effects, military and weather radar, and I may touch on how our eyes work just so you have a better view of that. Um, that was important during World War II. In World War II, um, a guy I used to work with, Ford Parkman, was almost picked up to be a pilot in the Pacific because he had a particular color blindness. He couldn't see red, I believe it was. And it was easier for him to see the zeros, the, the Japanese zeros against the water. And so they wanted him in the air trying to spot those zeros. And that's kind of it for our detailed look at um, what we're doing this semester.